So, Tiana Taylor dropped her album. Not a big fan of the album. Um, I feel like Kanye messed the album up or whatever. Kanye's a he's a great producer, but he's not for everybody. Um, Tiana doesn't need that dark sound. She needs fun clubbing songs. Anyways, she has a song on her album called Three Way or Three Songs or something like that. And she went in an interview and they asked her, do you and Iman have threesomes? And she said, yes, we do have threesomes. I made a video a while back and I asked, what are the hype? What is the hype about threesomes? Because somebody had told me that they wanted to have a threesome or whatever with the person I was with. And I'm not with that shit. I, I don't. I don't do threesomes. I don't need a feature. I don't need no help in the bedroom, first of all. Let's get that straight. Um, I think threesomes should be between single people, not people in a relationship. And here's why. If it works for you, live your life. But here's my thing. And this is what I always... And I had um, this woman who was older than me. I think I was like in high school or whatever. She was like a, a neighbor or whatever. And her and her husband or her boyfriend at the time used to do them. And... He went out without her and he basically cheated on her. And I was like, I remember thinking, I think I was like 16 or 17. And I was like, damn, how, like, okay, but you have threesomes. So what's, what's the difference? He just did it without you. And that's my point. When you open up the door to something like that, you can't be mad when your spouse goes out and do that without you because you open up that door and it's like, that would be the first thing your spouse would probably say is to say, well, you know, we have threesomes or whatever. What's wrong with me going out here and doing? I guess your response would be, well, I want to choose the person. I want to know who it is. I just never have understood threesomes. I don't get it. I, I, I don't know. Like, especially not with somebody you're in a relationship with. I don't know if it's because I'm territorial. Um, I'm just not into that. I'm not about to like sign up for somebody that I'm going to watch and we're going to be playing together with somebody else. Nah, I'm good on that. Like, I'm real good on that. And this is just juice, y'all. I'm real good on that. Um, Threesomes are just, I, like I said, I think they should be for single people. And that's it. I think they should be for single people. I'm not knocking anybody who does them or whatever, but it's just not my thing. I don't like it. I don't get it. I don't see the big thing about them. Like, what do you need somebody else in the bedroom for in your relationship? Do I not turn you on? Do I not satisfy you? Well, if that's the case, then you need to move on. Like, they want to say, oh, I'm spicing it up. And it's like, spicing what the fuck up? You spice something up, go season that chicken and fry some chicken or some steak or something. That's the only thing you need to be spicing up around here. Um, I think couples should try new things. But as far as inviting somebody in the bedroom, like, I don't know about that. And if you do, you can't be mad when they go out outside of your bedroom and, and keep that same energy when that happens. And that's what I put under the comment. I think um, the Shade Room has shared the interview. And I said, well, okay, that's cool for her. And when he goes out and he goes out and sleeps with one of those girls that she's invited in their bedroom, she needs to keep that same energy. Hence, that's the album. That's the name of her album. That's just what I think about that. That's my opinion. Um, like I said, I'm not talking down on people who have threesomes. I just want to know. What do you get out of that? So, you have a threesome. You bring somebody in your bedroom. And let's say, okay, for the first year or two in your marriage, it works. And then let's say the third year, your husband starts stepping out on you. Do you accept that? I just feel like threesomes in a relationship are a way to allow your man to quote unquote basically he's cheating with your approval with you in the room 
That's basically what's going down. Like, y'all are having fun. You're allowing him to cheat in your face because you know the girl is a little bit more comfortable. But I just feel like you open up that door for him to go out and do it outside. What if you stop? What if you're not interested in it? Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of that shit. I don't want to see nobody in the bed with somebody that I want. Bitch, I be looking at hoes that be looking at my nigga like, bitch, you too damn close. Let alone fucking him in my face. Bitch, you done lost your whole complete mind, bitch. Hell no. Fuck you. This ain't nothing but juice, y'all. I want to know what's the big deal about it. What status, what makes people want to do that? What makes you sign up to do that? Do you, is it a, is it a, is it a, I, I've always thought it's an insecurity thing that my man is going to go out here and cheat on me. So let me go ahead and have this threesome with him. So I'll know I'm, I'm, he, he doesn't, he, he doesn't have to go outside. So I'm going to let me, I heard this. I know one girl, she was like, I picked the girls that I want. They're not prettier than me. Which makes sense. She said, I always pick them. I bring them in. I tell them what I want them to do. Um, and, you know, it is what it is. And I was like, so you let your man fuck them? And she was like, yeah, he fucks them and eat that pussy and all this kind of stuff. And I was like, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. That's a little butt wild and outrageous to me. I ain't with this new finger wave shit. I want y'all to tell me, have y'all ever did one? No, I don't even want to know. What do y'all think about threesomes in a relationship? Do you think they should be between people in a relationship? Or do you think they should be between people that are single? Drop down in the comments and let me know, y'all. Let's talk today. Let's talk.